because I can imagine that it would taste good, but just walk me through a cauliflower breakfast. In a okay, that's breakfast. very neutral. I mean, it's it's like tofu in that it kind of absorbs the flavors around it. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Kidney Coach YouTube channel. I am joined again by the amazing, wonderful Jessie Anna Seville from the National Kidney Institute, a nutritional institute. <laughs> and today we wanted to go over and talk about all things breakfast when it comes to kidney disease. So why don't we start by just what the importance of breakfast is, and especially with kidney disease, is it something you should skip or why is it important? And let's go from there. Yeah, that's a great question. So I think there are definitely different strokes for different folks. Very personalized breakfast can be a great way. Uh, we found for people that are especially maybe they're losing weight, they're not getting all the calories in. You got a lot in breakfast. The whole breakfast strategy you can do to make sure you get enough calories. It can be a great way to put in a lot of very alkaline foods, which we'll talk about later in this episode. But Breakfast can be a huge powerhouse for a lot of people. For those, we have patients that definitely do intermittent fasting, uh, whether we're like looking at the metabolic health or for polycystic kidney disease, a lot of people that are uh, skipping breakfast and they're fasting. In those, it you know that can be perfectly acceptable, but it's definitely a case by case basis. I mean, we've had some people their ketone level that can be very good until we had a breakfast back in. I think it's just very individual whether or not it's like the most important meal of the day is that we're always still versus one that can be you know, very long. Now, I just have to take you back to, you mentioned making a porridge with cauliflower. And I just know people are going to be like, whoa, 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 just go back to that. Like, what was that about? Because now you and I are adding cauliflower to everything and people are just like, what? So, because I can imagine that it would taste good, but just walk me through a cauliflower breakfast. In a okay, that's, okay, great question. <laughs> I know it sounds so weird. Uh, the first thing, the number one first thing, if you're going to do a porridge type dish is you want to have a rice cauliflower. They would call yes, it rice yeah. cauliflower. So it's all cut up nice. I find, unless I'm using a food processor, no amount of my magic knife seals is going to get it as small <laughs> as if I just buy it frozen and it's way faster. So I just buy rice cauliflower and yeah. the stores tend to run out. I guess a lot of people are doing keto. I don't know. So when I see it there, I buy like 10 bags and I just put it in my freezer. That's probably why the store's run out. <laughs> yes, but, um, just buying up all the cauliflower. <laughs> right? But uh, I'm gonna, I just want to show you a picture of what it looks like. Yeah, that'd so, be great. That cauliflower is really important because it gives it just a little bit of a bite. And cauliflower is very neutral. I mean, it's it's like tofu in that it kind of absorbs the flavors around it. Mm -hmm. And so you don't notice it's cauliflower. Like if you just chomp into a raw one, it's really different if you're using it in a porridge. So I just want to show you what it looks like. So great. this is just an example, a cauliflower portage. Um, and this was on a diabetes website, so not necessarily even keto, but uh, just to pull this down a little bit to look at the ingredients. Sorry, go through all their ads. <laughs> so they use cauliflower and then a nut milk and some cinnamon, a little bit of stevia, peanut butter, and they use some sliced strawberries. That's like the most simple one. We usually put a little bit of flax in there. And I like the flavor of walnuts. So I'll do chopped yes. walnuts too. Because yep. yep. then... Uh, I think if all it was is cauliflower, it's not as good as if I just put a few other bits in there. But honestly, you can heat it up same as you would an oatmeal. It's not going to be as mushy as an oatmeal, mm -hmm. but you get that same effect of a hot breakfast that fills you up and feels really good. Yeah, I just... I love it. And it's not, I have to say, it's not one I've ever used in a breakfast, but as soon as you said it, I was like, well, of course that makes sense. That would be really good. Yeah, and again, you gotta try it. It's a great big vegetable dish for breakfast. So what a great thing to do. And, and like you say, it's nice and neutral. So it'll absorb all those flavors around it. I love that idea. Thanks. Yeah, and, and I'm sorry, I forgot one other thing is that mm -hmm. we'll also add uh, coconut flakes in there. Because yeah. the coconut flakes, they don't get as soft as other ingredients when you cook them. So it gives that chewy, uh, some porridges have like a chewy effect, like still yeah. the oats are chewy. So if you put some coconut flakes in there, co for whatever reason, coconut flakes aren't as strong as like a coconut oil or a coconut milk. 
they're a little bit more neutral. So you just get kind of that chewy texture. Yeah. And does, coconut doesn't have a lot of carbs, a lot of good healthy fat. So another good addition. Yeah. If you want to make sure you uh, subscribe so you hear when Jesse Anna and I talk about uh, lunch and breakfast, hit the subscribe button. You'll get a notification when we do our next podcast. Make sure you head over to our website as well, www.kidneycoach.com. You'll find all the information there about the kidney disease solution and some of the supplements that we sell. You'll read all about the team there and about myself and Duncan. And yeah, thank you for being part of our community. Jessiana, thank you again for your time. Always greatly appreciated. And we'll see you next time to talk all things lunch. <laughs> Sounds good. Thanks so much, Fiona. All right, bye.